Yo. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay, so I'm Caitlin. And I'm Kala. Come on. This oh. is Bernie. Oh, Petey, come on. And this is Petey Bear. <laughs> so Bernie's a Bernie's mountain dog. And Petey is a golden retriever. And we love them so much. What do you, if you had to tell YouTube something, what would you tell them? About me? I don't know about anything you want. I am 29 years old. Caitlin's 27 years old. We've been married for six years now, almost seven. Seven years, going on eight. Oh, seven going on eight. I'm the one that's better at math. <laughs> Yeah. That's a joke. Yeah, we've been married for seven years now. Two dogs, no kids. We live in... We live in Utah. Yep. I'm originally from Hawaii. Born and raised there. Caitlin's originally from Washington. Both are pretty cool. Utah's pretty cool. Okay, so Kala said some cool stuff about us. So, I'm from Washington. Um... My parents just live two hours north of Seattle, near Canada in the water. And then Kala's family is actually, most of them live on Oahu, which is, um, Honolulu's there. So that's the capital of Hawaii. So they live kind of on an island that has a lot going on. And then Washington's cool. I love it. It's super pretty. Um, and then, so Kala came to Utah to play football at the University of Utah. And I came to Utah because my three older brothers lived in Utah and I was like, you know what? I think I want to move there. So I spontaneously kind of moved to Utah. We both lived in Salt Lake City and that's like where we met. Who do you guys think talked to the other person first? Kaloth came up to me or do you think I went up to Kaloth? If you pick me, you're right. <laughs> so um, I saw Kala at church and I was like, oh shoot, he's cute. Um, and yeah, and I told my sister-in-law about him and she was like, girl, go talk to him. And I was like, okay. And so I went up and talked to him first and you kind of was like, yeah. And like walked away. Remember that? Yeah, I'm not very talkative. <laughs> Anyway, so we were both living in Salt Lake City. We both went to the same church. And yeah, what happened after that? Anything crazy? No. So we were just hanging out. We were friends for a long time. And then I wanted to serve a mission for my church. And we had actually started dating before that. And they lowered the age to serve a mission to 19. And I was 19 at the time. And I was like, oh shoot, like I want to go serve a mission. Will you wait for me? <laughs> I said no. <laughs> and Kala said no. And so I was like, oh shoot, like I thought I was a catch. Like I thought I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna wait for me, like whatever. And then he said no. And then for like a week it was like weird. And then I told my mom and she was like, you know what? You should give you should put some thought into marriage and Kala and I was like, Mom. But you know, you know, I don't know. So then I just like, I thought about it and like stuff. And anyways, I was like, maybe we should get married. And what'd you say? Yeah, then we talked about it. Yeah. Made plans, kept dating. Yeah. Then we got married. Okay. So we kind of told you guys about like where we're from, how we met. We met in Salt Lake City. We've been married for seven years. We have two cute dogs, Bern and Pete. I freaking love them. They are my kids. I am their mom. I'm their owner. <laughs> He's their dad. <laughs> okay, so stuff about us. You go first. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Hawaii playing sports. Uh, mainly what I did, going to the beach. Love the beach, love sports. Um, now we live in Utah and there's no beach. Uh, love jumping in rivers, hiking, taking the dogs out camping, hiking, swimming in rivers, lakes. Uh, we like traveling. Uh, yeah, pretty chill. Favorite color? 
Green. Favorite thing to eat? Uh, um, Hawaiian food. One place you want to visit? Recently, I've been watching a lot of random food videos. Uh, and I want to go to Asia. What's your favorite color? It's a tie between blue and green. And what's your favorite food? Um, ranch. <laughs> and what Anything that goes with ranch. <laughs> which is? French fries, pizza, chicken nuggets. Not salad. <laughs> salad. No, Texas Roadhouse has the best salads. And some good ranch. <laughs> Minus tomatoes. Minus tomatoes. She doesn't um, like tomatoes. What about where you want to go to or visit? I think right now. So I have like so many things on my list. So many things. But actually, I'm going to tell you like a few. I really want to go to Bora Bora. I really want to go to Tahiti. I think it's so pretty. And like, doesn't everyone just want to go like sleep in one of those huts over the water? If I, if, the, if someone was like, Caitlin, here's my credit card. Go wherever you want. I would go there. Um, but other things like that's like on my bucket list that is visiting like all the Disneyland's or like Disney theme parks around the world. I don't know that if like if the chance comes up to go, I feel like we could. Okay. Anyways, so if I had the chance to go, uh, or like okay, so Bora Bora is like the one place I would wish to go to, and then like I hope one day I can make all those Disney trips happen. And yeah, I love camping. Kalana and I actually have an RV, and so like we like to go, if we have an excuse to go somewhere and drive that, we try and take it. It's so fun. We tent camp too, it's just not as comfortable. And yeah, we like going to rivers and lakes, and like we went somewhere this last, like this summer, we went to Swan Valley, Idaho, Super and I feel cool. like everything we did was like, is there a river there or a lake? And like, that's what we did every day. Jumped like, off some cliffs. Yeah, so we just like try and do fun things like that. Any place that we could bring our dogs to is like always fun. We always try and bring Bernie and Pete because we love them like so much. Every time we go to Disneyland and there's like popcorn on the ground, we like look at each other and we're like, oh man, Bernie and Pete would love this place. They'd just eat all the popcorn off the ground. <laughs> and even though Caitlin loves Disneyland and Disney World, she always says, I'm kind of sad because I miss the dogs. Yeah. So. I wish they were like service dogs so they could, they could bring them with us. <laughs> They're not well behaved enough to be service dogs. <laughs> yeah, we like camping, we like traveling, we like doing all those things. Um, I like to spend money, I like to buy clothes and shoes. I love shoes! I love shoes. <laughs> she has like 20 times more pairs of shoes than I do. Yeah. Actually probably like 30 more. Because I don't have that many shoes. I love shoes. I think I'm going to show people some of my favorite shoes. And we're back. Okay, my ultimate favorite pair of shoes. Boom, baby. These are Air Max 200s, and I love them. Do you wanna know why I love them? It's because they're so colorful. I feel like they match my personality the best. Definitely. And they actually go up the shirt. Anyways, these are my like all-time favorite shoes. I will never get rid of these. I will be 80 years old rocking these. I'm gonna keep them in the best condition possible. We keep these babies in the box. These are Jordan Lowe's, um, Jordan 1 Lowe's. The color is um, black, light, smoke, gray. And I love them. If I could get these in like every color possible, like that would be so awesome. But anyways, um, a pair of shoes that I wish I had were the Chunky Dunk Lows, the SB ones. Anyways, I tried to buy them and I didn't end up getting them and neither did my friend Phil. You guys have probably seen Phil from Alyssa's dating series. He's a family friend of ours and he loves shoes too. Anyways, we both mourned that day when we both didn't get chosen to buy the shoes. Anyways, so yeah, I love shoes, love traveling, love buying stuff. And I love my dogs, love them. I'm gonna ask some questions and then we'll just answer them. What is one of your pet peeves? Probably either not cleaning dishes after you cook or how you take all the sink, all the counter space in the bathroom. That's your pet peeve? I mean, I just 
Massage clean all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Do you know one of my pet peeves? What? No. Probably when you fart by me. <laughs> or when you burp by me. I don't like that. Oh. Uh -huh. It bothers me. I can't think of pet peeves until like it happens. And I'm like, oh, that bothers me. Favorite TV show? The Office. Oh, good one. Mine's probably The Office. The and greatest show ever. The Office, and then I really like New Girl. And my favorite character's probably Kevin Malone. I think mine's Dwight. Dwight's great too. If, uh, what would be your dream location to live? Hawaii. I think my dream location would be like Cannon Beach. Would yeah. be like my dream. And then my second would be Hawaii. Mine would be Hawaii for sure. Um, or Canada is pretty cool too. I lo we love Canada. We were supposed to go this summer, but COVID happened. And so the borders were still closed when our trip was planned. We were going to go visit Jasper. It's like a national park in Canada. And we were supposed to go to Hawaii for a week too. Oh, we yeah. To cancel that as well. Yeah. And I was supposed to meet my friend Emma in Colorado and Denver. Miss you, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Um, favorite book? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. We freaking love Harry Potter. You're a? Gryffindor. I'm a Hufflepuff. I saved today. I'm a good loyal friend. <laughs> <laughs> what chore do you hate doing? Vacuuming. Yeah, me Our too. dogs have a lot of hair. So we gotta vacuum a lot. We have to vacuum all the time. Honestly, we'll vacuum that day and like an hour later I'll find like a little like little dust bunny of hair like just floating around on and the floor. I'm pretty sure if we had a brand new vacuum every day those vacuums would still not work well afterwards. Yeah. Our dogs just have so much hair. Um I don't like doing the dishes. Yeah. I hate more. I hate doing the dishes but when I'm doing them it's like not terrible but I'm just like never I never want to do it. We don't use that many dishes, so I don't really care because it's not that bad, you know? Like, yeah. if we had, like, ten people to do dishes for, that would just absolutely suck. Yeah. But two people isn't bad. Just whatever you cook with and a couple of dishes. Okay, what are things you normally splurge on? Um, if you're going to buy something, like, what would you splurge? Like, what would be, like, you'd spend a little bit more on? He never buys stuff, by the way. Ever. Yeah. Like... I spend my money on like tiny things that add up and then he'll save his money and like buy a Traeger, which is like hundreds of dollars. Oh yeah, I guess I kind of splurged on that, I bought a Traeger. But like, what is something if you could splurge on right now, what would it be? I, I would like to splurge on a truck. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a big splurge, but that would be a lot of money. Something I feel like I'd splurge that on. That basically even out our spending. <laughs> I think something I would splurge on is just always shoes. Yeah, you love shoes. I just like, there's so many pairs of shoes I want right now, but I'm just like trying to be good. It's just so hard. I could care less. As long as my shoes are comfortable, I'm good. Till it's, till it's I don't bad. know why I love them. I just do. Favorite store? Costco. Oh, I love Costco. Dang it. <laughs> I was gonna say Target, but maybe mine is Costco. Yeah. I go to Costco the you most. You have a lot of stores. Yeah, but I think my favorite. Probably the Nike outlet is your Ooh, favorite. Oh yeah, I love the Nike outlet. Probably any store. <laughs> Anything I can buy someone something at. <laughs> I have to show you how cute Bernie is. He's just laying right here, listening to his mom and dad make their first YouTube video. <laughs> He's on this side. Please show them. Yeah. Oh. There's Petey Baby. <laughs> Just hiding over there, laying down. Now he's looking at us. Yeah, we set you guys up on a laundry basket. What we do for work? I work for a company called Dense Blast Verona, and I sell ortho software to dentists which is great, and yeah. Kind of boring. Yeah, just a little bit. Some dentists are cool though, so that makes it fun, but mainly just talking about people's teeth all day, and that is as cool as it sounds. 
Uh, you kind of have a side business. Yeah, and I uh, started a business. I do some payroll for some companies. Um, hoping to grow that. So, just helping them pay their employees. My turn. My job is actually so cool. It's actually my dream job. Like I can't think of anything cooler than what I'm doing right now. Um, so a lot of you probably know me from the mic cells. You've seen me on Alyssa's dating series on Brock and Boston's channel, like in their vlogs and not even on the mic cell, um, via our family's channel. Um, so I, I guess let me just tell you a backstory about how I met the mic cells. Cause I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to know that because you guys probably, came from the mic cells over here to this channel just to see what, who we are. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I met Betsy, Gentry, and Alyssa at um, Dress Collective, which was a store that I managed. And she, Alyssa was a model. And so I met Betsy and them, yeah, at like photo shoots, I'd see them. And when they came in to like shop for dresses, for dances, and yeah. And so I think I started following Alyssa and she started following me. and. Um, yeah, so I knew them and then like a year and a half, two years later, um, I was looking for a new job and, um, I had just posted on social media, Hey, like I'm looking for a new job. Is there any openings anywhere? And Alyssa told her mom that I was looking for a job and Betsy messaged me and was like, Hey, you should come work at Betty's which is the company that Betsy um, had started. And so I got a job at Betty's and I loved it. Like it was so fun. Like I still get jealous of all like the <laughs> people that work at Betty's and I still talk to a lot of the employees there cause like they're all my best friends and I love them. Anyways, I love Betty's and I loved working there. Um, um, but I got the opportunity to take Alyssa senior photos and we just like clicked. And I think Betsy and Gentry saw like, dang, her and Alyssa are a good match. And so anyways, they offered me a position to, um, manage their kids and just help with a lot, just a lot of things that has to do with Instagram and social media and brand deals and all a whole bunch of things. And so, um, I'm still like, learning tons of things but anyways i work with their kids and i manage them and i just try and help them grow and um work with brands and things like that so that's what i do so i'm always with the mic cells um brock boston and Alyssa are like my very very best friends i love hanging out with them i never get tired of hanging out with them they're so funny i love betsy and gentry Betsy's hilarious, Gentry's so, the whole family's funny and like, I've never met um, a better family than the Mike Sells. They're so giving and including and they like genuinely just like wanna have fun and be together. Like their family like wants to be together all the time and I like love that. Anyways, so I work with the Mike Sells. Um, I'm the kids manager and I just try and help out as much as I can. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. I get to hang out with the Mike Sells almost every day and do so many fun things with them. But yeah, so that's what I do. And um, I take all their photos and stuff. And actually the Mike Sells edits their own photos. So I just have to take them and they edit them all. Yeah, it's super fun. We're always thinking of fun things to do. Um, so if you have any content ideas for them or for videos, like put it down below and I'll suggest it to them. Cause that's what I kind of do is like help them think of ideas and things like that. Anyway, so that's that. Hopefully that was like kind of exciting because it's exciting for me, so. And I'm a dog mom. <laughs> so we can't think of anything else to share. If we think of something, we'll have to add it in future videos, but that's kind of like us. We're not like too crazy. We're pretty ordinary. Um, or yeah. if anybody is watching this, then you can ask us a question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and like getting to know us, especially getting to know Bernie and Pete. Oh, we should tell them about Bernie and Pete. Bernie is five years old. Bernie's six. five. We got him in Washington. Petey Bear is three. Three. We got him in Idaho. And what's their personalities? Bernie is more like me. He's quiet, but he barks loud. And he's kind of shy and skittish. And he protects the house, though. Yeah, if anybody comes by the house, he's barking at him. Petey's running away from him or trying to lick him. 
Petey Bear is like a lover, lover, 100% love. He like just wants to be close to you. He wants you to pet him. He wants to kiss you all day, 24 seven. He is like the, I've never met a nicer dog. He's an unofficial therapy dog. Yeah, he like just wants to love you, anyone. He wants to love anyone. Like if we're on a walk and you sh even look at him, he's like, I love them. But also, if you're feeling kind of down, I think Burton can tell and he'll come lay yeah. by you. Usually he just lays by himself somewhere. Yeah. But I think if he can tell you're down, he'll come lay by you. Yeah. Petey Bear is like the lover. He does like he doesn't even leave space between. Like he his face is on your face. But Bernie is like a loner, kind of does his own thing. But then yeah, when he knows something's going on, he comes over and like lays. Other than that, he's like in another room. <laughs> Petey will literally lay on you. If you get up, Petey Bear gets up. And swipe at you so you pet him. Yeah, he's always putting his paw on you to be like, pay attention to me, please. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, sorry. That was a little side little side note so you guys get to know Vernon Peaks. They're literally like our number one thing in our life. It's just yeah. those two are our favorites. Um, but anyways, the Mike Sells encouraged us to start a YouTube channel. We listened. Um, they just have so many, they literally tell everyone to start a YouTube channel. The, the opportunities that they've gotten from doing YouTube is insane. They love it, are so grateful for it. They're, yeah. Anyways, so hopefully, hopefully you guys had fun getting to know us and hopefully you guys are excited to see like future things from us. We're not sure what, but <laughs> anyways, have a good day. Bye.